Okay, I am going to show you how neurotic I am about my dock icons. Uh, as you can see, I've customized them all to be different than what the standard icon is. You know, this is Sweet Deck, as Evernote, you know, Photoshop, PowerPoint, you get the picture. I've basically uh, changed them all using a couple of different ways and I'm going to show you how to do it really quick and then there's also the tutorial below and if you're watching this on YouTube it will be linked in the description. Uh, so I'm going to just go through it really quickly. I use an application called Candy Bar. Uh, Candy Bar is made by Panic and they're actually not supporting it anymore but it still works fine. I've been using it for a, a long time now actually to change a lot of the uh, icons, not just my app icons but it will also uh, load you know your different uh, folders and your trash as you can see like you know I've customized my trash and you can basically customize everything from your device icons as you can see you know my hard drive icon is is unique and I find these icons online uh, and save them and put them into you know my basically my icons folder in candy bar which is really easy you just you know save the icon from a google search or whatever uh, a png or dot i n i c n s i n c s I don't know if I'm saying it right, file, and I just drag it into here, and then I have all of these icons, and as you can see, I've saved a lot of icons. It is uh, somewhat of a hobby of mine uh, to make my doc look perfect and to, you know, change, you know, my application folders and, and, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to use this byword one as an example. I was trying to uh, change the byword icon, and I Combine some people's uh, different, you know, designs, and I was using Photoshop, and I made this purple icon, which I thought looked really good in Photoshop, but then when I put it in my dock, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see. So I made a blue one, hoping it would be uh, a little bit better, kind of, and look nicer next to my Clarify and Archery app. So I'm going to show you how to change it. Uh, the problem is that if you've downloaded an app from the Mac App Store, it's locked, as you can see, it's a little lock there. So typically, you know, you'd be able to just drag and drop, you know, I could change the DVD player to be a Twitter icon, you hit apply icons, and it reloads the dock, and now that um, application will actually have this icon, and it's really simple. Uh, but for stuff like Evernote, as you can see, like down here, it's a circle, but up here, it seems to be locked. So what you gotta do is go to your applications, um, and then open in and find her. So we're going to use Byword as an example. And then you click on the app and hit Control I or Get Info. And you can actually click on the icon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to export this icon as a PNG because you need it to be transparent. Uh, I've noticed that 256 is, is pretty much the best uh, size to export it, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to open it up in preview and I'm going to um, copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my finder, click on the Byword app, and then hit Control V. It's going to ask me for my password. And then it changed it to the blue icon. I know it's kind of not that big of a change, uh, but it did change it even though it was locked in Candy Bar. And then when I read Low Byword, it's blue! Um, so it's really easy to basically change the icons uh, to different, you know, colors, different formats. You know, uh, you can change them really easily. And I love it because I can make my dock look really nice and and beautiful and organized, uh, which I really enjoy. And if you're curious on how I got the spaces between my icons, which I really uh, obviously like for productivity because I kind of keep certain things together and then try to separate certain things, so I'm, I'm a little bit better at navigating down here, uh, I use Super Docker. And Super Docker is awesome. It basically allows you to, you know, add separators to your applications. It reloads your dock, and then you can kind of drag these separators to create separations between your icons. Uh, which I really enjoy as well. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. It revealed a little bit of how neurotic I am about the look and feel of my doc and icons and computer, uh, but I hope that you play around with it a little bit and get to find 
a little bit of customization for yourself, I would recommend just starting with the icons that are in your dock. You know, all of your applications don't really matter so much if you don't use them all that often. But the ones that you show on the bottom, um, you know, might be worth, you know, organizing them a little bit and making them look a little bit better. And, and just it's kind of a fun thing to do over the weekend. So I hope you take a chance to check out the tutorial and make your dock beautiful as well.